Welcome back to 5-Minute Bible Study. Um, sorry for the two-week vacation. If you've been watching my Instagram, you know that things have been a little busy the last couple weeks. But now, hopefully, we are back in the saddle. So we're going to pick up where we left off in Matthew chapter 11. I'm going to read verse 7 to 15, and we'll try and get all of that done. As John's disciples were leaving, Jesus began to speak to the crowd about John. What did you see when you went out to the desert? A reed swayed by the wind? If not, what did you go out to see? A man dressed in fine clothes? No, those who wear fine clothes are in king's palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written, I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. I tell you the truth, among those born of women, there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist. Yet, he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing, and forceful men lay hold of it. For all the prophets of the law prophesied until John, and if you are willing to accept it, he is the Elijah who was to come. He who has ears, let him hear. Okay, let's wrap this up. So John sent his guys to Jesus to say, hey, are you the real deal? He said, yes. So the disciples leave and go back to report to John. But then Jesus, he starts talking about John to the people who are left there. And I just thought, wow, what an honor to have Jesus talk about me. But anyways, and he says, why did you guys all make the trek out into the desert? Back before I was here, crowds were flooding into the desert to see this guy. Why did you go? Were you thinking that you were going to see a broken man about to snap, about to lose it? Or if that wasn't it, were you going out to see a celebrity? No, because celebrities live in mansions. They don't live in deserts. So maybe you went out to see one of God's messengers. Maybe you were actually hungry to really encounter God. And oh yes, John was my messenger and then some. Let me tell you, this guy is talked about in the Old Testament by all the other prophets. You've read about him for years. You've spent your life studying this prediction of this guy coming, the one who comes on the scene to get you ready for the Savior's entrance. He is here to prepare your way so you can walk right up to Jesus. That's why he came. He was here to make everybody ready and clear a path straight to Jesus. And then Jesus says, my words are fact. I'm, I'm speaking the truth here. You can ride or die on what I say. Of all the babies ever born in the whole world ever since the beginning, none have been as special as John. He is the end all and be all top honors. But if you serve like a servant and you put yourself behind everyone else in order to love like I love and lead people to me, if that's what you do, you are even greater than John in heaven. So this guy that I just praised, if you do these lowly things, you can be even greater than him. Heaven, I love this when it says this. It said, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing. Heaven got aggressive once John came on the scene. Heaven was advancing, taking people's hearts hostage for love, convincing people to switch sides, to change their minds, to join Team Jesus. Heaven got aggressive when John popped out into this world. And it is a strong person or a strong people that have been grasping onto heaven's message, Jesus's message, and continuing to spread it and to tell it to this day. Every person, every prophet, every messenger that God has sent since the beginning talked about John. So no wonder heaven got aggressive when he finally showed up on the scene, I've been waiting thousands of years for this regular human guy. And now he's here. Battle cries are going and 
Heaven is mobilizing. 